Hey everybody, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is a little bit interesting. So over my time of working on 1320 Challenge and messing with Legends, obviously I've learned of other games that I didn't play during those times because I was too busy no-lifing 1320. You know, it's just what I did when I was younger. <laughs> anyway, there was a game I missed out on that apparently was very good. It was called Motor City Online. Now, the thing with Motor City Online is I never got to play it. I didn't even know about it, but apparently it was a game from EA that was basically online circuit racing from the best that I can tell. And people have always asked, oh, you helped with 1320 Challenge and this and that. Can you bring back Motor City? Well, I'd never even found a working download link for Motor City Online until roughly 11 minutes ago and all I did was throw it in Google I was like hey Google Motor City Online and that's all I put in the search and then a Reddit post came up and somebody made an offline server emulator for this game in 2012 so I figured you know what I'll risk my system because Reddit's never a dangerous place there's full sarcasm there. Let's download what they gave out and see if it's real. And oh my god, Reddit, despite having sections that are full of flat earthers and things like that, is sometimes an amazing place. Holy cow. So, you see this folder, Motor City Online. Now there's a bunch of smaller folders because I need to make them bigger. And there's M City, Launcher, Update, and Viper. That's because there was a secret car, I believe, uh, from what somebody told me. But anyway, I figured let's make a tutorial video and show you guys Motor City Online. So I'm going to put this up for download. Uh, I already ripped the ISO, so I'm going to make it easier for everybody, and it's just a folder to install the game. So you basically just open up this folder. Find setup.exe. This does work on Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8.1 if you're still a heathen. Windows 7 if you're just really bullheaded and don't want to update your system. Uh, this will probably even... Oh, you know what would be really cool is build like a Windows XP gaming machine. I'm going to... I've been planning on doing that for a while, but then put this on it. Oh, that'd be so much fun. Um, anyway, <laughs> you basically just want to run the setup.exe. That's all you really need to do. Very simple to follow the prompts. You can install it to its default location, or you can do it... What I do, I have a 4 terabyte SSD in my computer that's strictly for installing games to now. And it just installs there. D Games MCO is where I put it. Now, once you're through the setup, I'm not going to show you guys going through the setup and all that because that's going to overwrite things that I did. So that's step one, run setup.exe. Step two is go to my launcher, grab this copy and paste it to wherever you install the M city uh, or motor city online. Step three is the update files. Select all, which is control a is what I'm doing. Paste them into the directory. And I don't know why I'm actually doing it because I already did it. Oh, whatever. Apparently something was missing. Interesting. And then also on top of that, if you want the Viper, there are instructions for the Viper. You open up the readme, and you see that this file, the .viv, if you can see file extensions, goes into data, models. Then you want to go, uh, these two go into skins. Which, maybe I'll look into seeing if these are modded, uh, moddable. You know, these could be a fun little format that's exploitable. And then this goes in your root directory, which is just where you can see everything. So right here. And then that adds the Dodge Viper to the game, which is pretty sick. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff I would love to go through here and actually like deep dive and see if it's something anybody's ever tried to mod. Because it looks like, you know, music-wise file format I've never seen. BNKs, these are popular in old games. Speech? 
dick. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of fun little stuff in here, and I would love to actually kind of rip it apart and see if we could... There's a debug. Ooh, we need to figure out the debug. There might be multiple videos of this. Anyway, so you want to actually run a race in MCO. I'm getting sidetracked because I have ADHD. I am so sorry. Luckily, it was only about a 24-second sidetrack. You want to open up the mcitylauncher.exe and simply just double-click it. As long as it's in the same directory, it'll be fine. And you can select any of the cars that were in the game. And holy cow, were there a lot of cars in this game. Like I said, I never got to play this. I mean, everything from a 32 8 ball is what they call that. There's the Mercury Mod Coupe. There's Buick Sentries. There's 57 Chevy Nomads. There's Bel Airs. Adelacs, Impalas, Pontiacs, Fords, AMCs. I almost owned a uh, AMC AMX, funny enough. Um, or maybe that's not funny, but you know what I mean. Electronic Arts Truck. There's an Eclipse in here. And Supra, that's like the newest cars. <laughs> that's it. Let's see what this truck is. <laughs> that's funny. Same as player. We'll go easy mode because I don't know how to play because I'm I never played it. We're gonna go with three opponents and basically you just need to figure out you know where do you want to play and there is drag racing so you know popular thing on my YouTube channel is drag racing games. Let's go drag race. You can play it backwards. We might try that. You don't need multi laps for drag racing so we're gonna hit go. And this should launch, oh, didn't launch windowed mode, did it? It did launch windowed mode, got it. So, oh wow, it is like, shift up is A and Z, got it. There is no boost, I am literally, okay, there are definitely some assets missing, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, I read lit. Am I not able to, like, rev? Can you not do that? Tuning? Turning response, acceleration response, braking response, maximum brake force. That's cool. Mouse driving? Oh, God, that sounds awful. No, we're going to turn that off. Uh, functions. Let's see. Uh, I guess if I maybe held handbrake. Wow, there's a lot of functions. Game cameras. Uh, truck detail, you want full. We want everything on high. Because that's apparently causing issues. We want high. Per pixel. Reflections. Projected. Lens flare. Flag. Widescreen. There we go. Let's hit continue. Can I... Is there... Okay. What happens if I leave the race? Oh, it just closes. Let's try that again, now that I know there's a handbrake. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Oh, my God. There's got to be a way to make the... Like, where's the... There's got to be, like, a settings file somewhere. So we're going to try handbrake. Oh, uh, yeah, drag racing's broken. Got it. Drag racing's broken. Um, let's do a different race. <laughs> I mean, it is also a really old game, so I'm not surprised. Uh, let's do something else like the Mitsubishi Eclipse here. All right, let's actually have a working race at least once in this video. How is my encoder overloaded? That doesn't make any sense. All right, so where's it going to start me camp? In the car. I'd rather be here. Does it keep my graphic settings? Yes, good. So three, two, one, go. Sick. 
Dude, this is so freaking cool. I never got to play this. Maybe I should play it full screen, but like... What happens if I dab the hand? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, oh my god, I drove around the jump. Okay. Apparently there's no checkpoint because it was fine with it. Oh, this game's fun. Those are good physics handling models. Not even going to lie. It's not that bad. Oh, wow. You can watch replays. That's cool. So there's a lot of fun. This seems like it was a full fledged thought out game. I'm surprised no one's actually made like a server for it. This is just an offline server. Maybe somebody has and I just didn't find it yet. I don't know. Do we want a video of me trying to mod this? Because I mean, it is really old. Like, what can we do with this? Is there anything custom we can do? I'm sure people have modded it in some form. Oh no. Wow, the physics model is actually really good for flying cars. Okay, you two are just done. Got it. I'm coming in second. That's okay. Perfectly. You know what? I don't want to cross. Dang, I wanted to go through the middle. I saw that fire ring and wanted to jump through it. This is a cool little game. You know what? Cool. I'm glad I found this. I'm going to mess with it. Maybe there will be a second video where I mess with some things, we find some things, we see what we can do, and we'll go from there. But I'm going to upload this probably to archive.org and maybe I'll put it on GoFile for the first few people that find this. And we'll go from there. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.